from the Rico Arena, a 2-2 draw against Coventry City and the, the football cliche sums it up, a game of two halves there, Nathan. Yeah, it was. Look, we were nowhere near what we, what we are first, uh, first off. We didn't, get, we didn't get the grips of it, we didn't pass the ball well enough, we didn't keep it where he went in, we didn't defend well enough, we didn't press, we didn't do anything well enough. And then, obviously, to concede after a minute from, from poor, defensive, poor defensive play wasn't, wasn't good either. So... Uh, we were really disappointed, but we came in off time, we didn't rant and rave, we knew we had to find solutions and not add to problems. Uh, we changed to the diamond and we were far better second half, and we were a better side second half, and as I said, we, uh, they could have nicked it, we could have nicked it, Jack Stacey had a great chance, but we were much more like the, uh, the, the threat and the team that, that we are. We played with Engie, we come here, he's got best defensive record in the league, but to score two goals and claw the game back was, was wonderful. Let's get the negatives out of the way to begin with then. The first 45 minutes, I mean, it was important after the Accrington defeat on Saturday to, to show something today and to try and get something out of the game, but as you said, so disappointing that the performance just didn't seem to be there, did it? Not first off, it wasn't. But let, let's let's just set the scene for a minute now. Now we've been we've been unfortunate the last three games. We've been unfortunate. Let me tell you now, our performance levels haven't dipped too much. Against Cheltenham, yeah, we conceded two from sloppy play, right? From from one from a worldly strike, and we've had a couple of worldly strikes against us lately. But we've dominated games. We were by far the better side at Cambridge, and we should have won the game. But for for things that happened and refereeing decisions have gone against us, and we've had to have to handle that, and we've had to take it on the chin. So I, I was I was proud of. So then we come here. Yes, yeah, a difficult game. This is a difficult, real, real difficult game. Playing against these, and when we come up, when we turn turn up, it's a difficult. It's it's a it's an added motivation for them. But I felt first off we were nowhere near. Second off we were more like us, and we showed some character tonight. And that's a wonderful point. That's a big, big point that is tonight. Certainly showed a lot of character in the second half, but where was it in the first half? Well, we started badly, which kind of shook us, because that's bad. We didn't defend well in the wide areas. Then when we didn't get close enough to the edge of the box, then Marek parried it straight to Vincenti, who's at the tap-in. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a calamity of errors after a minute that you don't recover from. Then it's a massive goalkeeping error for the second goal. I, I've, I explained something because I lost a playoff final because of a goalkeeping error like that, that they, the wall covers one side, they cover the other. That means that if it goes in your side, that's your fault. And that was his fault. And I tell them every single game because I, I fell out with the keeper because of that. Because of that. And he did exactly the same. And that's, for me, the big disappointment from, from, from Marek tonight. And he knows it. But then he responded with two wonderful saves second half, which were more like Marek's deck. So we were nowhere near where we were first off, but we were second. And that's a big point. And that's, that's a big point. That's, a, that's a, a little bit of a mood changer, that one. You mentioned earlier that you didn't rant and rave at half-time, you didn't want to add to the problems, but surely there must have been a part of you, the passionate manager that you are, that was just really wanting to tear at them and, and tell them what for. Yeah, but you, sometimes you, you've got to be tactically astute as well as, as, as just passionate. You can't just go on passion alone. Sometimes you have to think and you have to take a step back and say, what do we need? Do they need a bollocking now? Do they need a hammering? Do they need that, that kind of thing? Or do they need solutions? Do they need a manager now that believes in them and says, look, we've got to build, we've got to build? It was a similar thing to when we went to Newcastle. We knew that we, we were down and if we went gung-ho, we would get torn apart. So we said, we build. We go after the next goal, but we build and we build. And we did. And we scored again. And again, one horrific referee or linesman decision cost us again, cost us building in that game. So we've had some real bad decisions against us, but we keep rolling with the things. And we're a big, strong character team, and I'm proud of them today. I'm really, really proud. That's a big point. That's a big point. You brought Scott Cuthbert back into the side, and your skipper rewarded you with uh, just his second goal of the season, a header to uh, to get the game back with a, a chance in that second period. Yeah, it did, and that got us back in a set place. We've been good from set place, um, uh, and so on. We had, we had, no, we had, a, we had a chance early on in the second half as well, Harry Cornick with a header and, uh, and as I said we've, we've had a ch chance in the second half Jack Stacey had a glorious chance to keep him made a, made a safe forward, if he scored then ooh, who knows what, what, what might have happened but we're, we're happy with the point and in the end you know, with, with it's end to end it's like a boxing match, you're happy with the point in the end because that's it's a big point, that, that, that really is. And we haven't gone back-to-back -back defeats, which we don't do very often, and I don't think we've done this season. No, we haven't. Uh, you mentioned about some decisions uh, gone against you in the past. There was possibly one today. I don't know if you've had a chance to view it yeah. or you've spoken to Pete. It's real touch and go. Real, real touch and go. We've seen it. It's really, really touch and go. And we've had three or four of those this year where the refs have got it wrong and, and so on. The referee's magnificent tonight. Uh, they, they put a good ref in charge of this game tonight because it was, uh, it was an important game. It was a big game, two big, big teams, big clubs. And uh, I thought the, the officiating was, was fantastic. And look, I... Game's offside, tight? It's tight. So look, it's gone against us, but and I can't... And has it got a touch? 
can you can you clarify that? He celebrated as though he got a touch from our angle. Well, if he didn't, like, he probably would have gone in. Yeah. So you know we're, we're disappointed with that, but goal scorers do that because they think they're on side. Yeah. So look, it's one of those. It's, it's not argue about what didn't happen. Yeah. It, it, because we've showed a real big character point there. But at the end of it, he has popped up with the equaliser a few minutes from time, another bullet header, and um, the point that perhaps the second half performers deserve to get. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I said, I, we were nowhere near first half, but as I said, I was disappointed with the second goal because that gave us a mountain to climb. Because from 1 0 down, you can come back. We, we, we can come back from 1 0 down. It's when we go 2 down. That's where we are, sort of Cheltenham and so on. And, we've, and we picked the side today to keep clean sheets. We put Glen Ray in there. We played a front three, so we'd have pace, but we'd have a little bit of security in, in, in the wide areas. And we didn't. We didn't seem to have that. We, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot after a minute. And then, obviously, right from uh, uh, right on the stroke of half time with, with bad decision making cost us but as I said I'm not going to dwell too much on it now we, we'll rectify that in the coming days but I'm just so proud of, 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 of the fight back and what we did to get a point yeah the momentum from that final 45 minutes the 2,000 Luton fans behind you that that takes you into a good spirit going into the Saturday game at Newport now, well totally it? different totally different spirit because another point 70 points we're on now with nine games to go and uh, that ain't a bad hole to have. We'd have taken that last year, um, you know, because we finished on 77 last year. So we're only seven points off last year's, last year's those all with nine games to go. So it's going to be a big, big rest of the month. We've got three games to go. And then we've got a massive April uh, uh, where, look, we want to reach our goal, but it's going to be tight. And, and the thing about us is we played all the best football this year. We've scored more goals than anyone else. We've earned the reputation. And now we're going to have to, we're going to, have to battle it out. You come here, the pitch is horrific as a lot of pitches are, you know, when, when they share the ground and, and so on. But we showed a lot of character tonight and that's been the, the, that's been the big thing. And that's what I'm proud of tonight. And I'm proud of my club, proud of my fans. I'm proud of how we went about it. I'm proud of our decision making as a coaching staff tonight. So, no, a real good, it's a positive evening, not a negative one. And uh, on a side note, I believe game 37 passed. That means that both Danny Hilton and Alan Sheen escaped the deadline for the 10 yellow cards as well, which must have been on your mind tonight as yeah, well. Yeah, it was, it was. And as I said, we pick up bookings that others don't. And that's not me being sour grapes. I mean, we pick up, I, I, I look, at some, look at some games and I, I stand and I think, you know, we got bookings for that. I don't know why. I don't, really don't know why. But uh, yeah, that's a good thing for us. So we got, you know, a full squad now to go into the last last few games with, and we're um, and I said we're in a, we're in a good position. We're in a good position, and uh, and that's what we got to make sure we keep focusing on and keep uh, and keep thinking about and, and not get any negativity around us. That's great. Thanks, Nathan. We'll see you on Saturday. You bought them both um, Luke Gambin and Elliot Lee um, in the second half. Were you tempted to make changes at half time, or were you done this? Yeah, we, we were tempted to make changes at half time, but what we did was we needed to get a foothold in the game. So rather than just make knee jerk ones, and you never know what's going to happen, we want we felt the changing shape would be more paramount than the changing personnel. So we did that, and look, it proved, it proved, it proved right. And Scammon's popped up with a superb cross for James to score, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, it's an that creative edge. That's what he's here for, and he's been unlucky, but that's that's what he's here for, and, uh, and that's that's what he does. And Elliot Lee also gave us that little bit as well, and we look, we went super positive. You know, we've got so many positive players on there. We took our defensive ones off. We went very, very positive in the end, and. And I said, uh, and, and it got us the point. When you went to the fans at the end, were you kind of giving them a message to sort of stick, stick with, stick with us? Stick with us, definitely stick with us, because it's going to be twists and turns. We've given them a hell of a season so far. We've given them enough football, enough goals, enough entertaining things to, 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 to earn a bad performance now and again. And we give them half, and they weren't happy about it, but hey, they've got to stick with us. Do they want to get promoted? Because we do, and we work tirelessly every day. I'm a passionate manager, and I, and I, I work tirelessly, but they've got to get behind us as well. Now they, they, need, they might need to drag us through the odd game now and again, because they're a good group, this. they're an honest group, yet we make mistakes, but that's the league, that's the level, that's what happens. So now if they want to get out of this level, then they've got to play their part, and they have tonight. Second half, they were magnificent. And it's going to be like that. It's going to be thing. And Luton's a big game for everyone. It's not a normal game. People go to other, other P's in and around the top seven. And they go there because they want to win the game. They think they can win the game. Some people come to Luton and they don't believe they can win the game. So they sit back and it's difficult. But with us, we're a brave team. We've tried to play the right way. Now we've just got to get over the line. And getting over the line might not just be an absolute stride. Getting over the line might be a fight and a battle and a graft. And if we have to do that, then we're prepared to do it. But make sure they're right with us.